This is Ben's Life uh, Part 4, I believe. Challenge. Okay. Really, only two people entered this challenge. I re entered Armor Motors and I re entered the uh, entry of Walls. Uh, that'd be pretty funny if one of them won the challenge and they didn't even enter. <laughs> but nobody complained last time about me entering Armor Motors vehicle back in the challenge. And, only thing it really changed was I just gave it more luxury and that just brought up the safety on it more. And, uh, yeah, let's see what I, I just changed. I just, hold on a second. Yes, yeah, now I got a luxury interior with a luxury CD. I think I changed it from like four to five seats. I might already have five seats in it already, but uh, still a nice looking vehicle. All right, let's go to the next one. I know that Wall had said something like he's going to go with a completely different setup. I hope you don't get mad at me because I went ahead with this challenge with this previous entry. Maybe you can send it to me in Ben's Life Part 5. Of course, I've seen that he's a little bit busy too. I mean, that, that happens in life. I think I did the same, basically the same thing to walls. I just uh, added more luxury in it. For some reason, it raises up safety. Well, I can see having real leather in a vehicle as a safety thing because real leather, not fake leather, not fox leather, but real leather, it self extinguishes if it catches on fire. Yeah, I changed Wall's uh, seats from four to five, I think. And he's got premium interior with premium cassette. And his came to, uh, he had $30,000, just like. Hmm. I think I had a silver cart. What does this say right here? Uh, part three. Let's change this to part four. Because I'm going to reload that card to DMG. I want to see what kind of other colors he might have had. He has this uh color. I think I'll just, just so I don't get confused, I know which car, which color it's going to. Okay. Wow. That's, that's really gold looking. Or, uh, that's really gold. Just what? Just because that way, when I see his car in BMG, I know it's uh, the new one. So we'll go ahead and upload that, uh, or I then did that to what's his face, uh, Armor Motors. Hopefully, it don't take too long because I want I want to keep this video sh short and quick. I mean, everybody's sticking to the guns. Camo Factor still got his. It's called a Twin Norita now, and the Prince of All Saints didn't change name of his too, but it's still the same vehicles, just, they're also just upgrading the luxury in it. But they did enter. Just only Wall and Armor Motors didn't enter this challenge. Yeah, well I was trying to fix all these little things right here. That should be about done. Tell everybody what's going on in my life. And I'm just trying to find balance in my life, trying to work 30 hours, 25 hours a week, 30 hours, trying to get maximum so I can make them. And plus trying to spend as much time as I can with my daughter and and take my dad to doctor's appointments when he needs to go. And I got my own doctor's appointments I have to go to. Like tomorrow I got to give a prescription refill on my blood pressure medicine. Going to church as much as I can, going to martial arts as much as I can. So it, everything's trying to find balance in everything in my life. That's the reason why I stay so busy. Plus, play this game a little bit. So that didn't take no, uh, as long as I thought it was. Thought it would. Like today, I went to church and came home and cleaned it inside my Toyota Camry out, detailed the inside of it. I finally got that done. 
and I weeded the yard. I was going to mow, but uh, one of my lawnmowers kicked the bucket. At the, uh, I got three more actually. That's good running order, but at the the one that kicked the bucket, I was going to cut with it because it cuts a little bit lower than the rest of it does. That's okay. I'll just wait till Thursday and cut. Up. Wait to get wait till the grass gets taller and cut up with the one that cuts the second lowest. So I'm not really saying anything important right now, just rambling on. Finalizing ex export. Plucked a few nose hairs on my nose a just a minute ago. There we go. Let's see who's Nick on. Who's gonna be next? So wall is still worst on ender reliability, trim reliability, and miles per gallon. And he's got the he's got the most points in looks though. So he did the best in looks, the, the design of the vehicle. Uh, Camel Factor did the best in safety, injury reliability, trim reliability. And stopping distance. Prince of All Saints did it worst in the design and safety. That doesn't mean that it's horrible design design because I kinda I kinda like the way it looks. And this is Prince of All Saints by the way. And Omar Motors he did the best in miles per gallon and the worst in stopping distance. But now it's, I said I like blue, and this is a two tone blue. So, Camel Factor changed it back to blue, but this is a different kind of blue, I guess. But I like it. He's now calling this the Space Angler. It's still in 1989, we we'll just upgraded to interior. You know, luxury set with luxury interior. He did worse than safety. Um, when I stop the video, I'll come back and try to upload these cars to uh, Demon G. Pour them over. And Camel Factor's changed his a little bit too. I kind of like that taxi yellow they had on his car last time. Alright, hurry up and finish loading. He's now calling this the Twin Norita. Why does that sound like Latina to me? Twin Norita. Oh, that probably fix itself. Yep. It's a cool paint scheme. Like I said, I like that yellow one better. That's pretty cool though. 
I like this one better than the Orange Dream sequel we had, but of course I didn't have no problem with that either. I just like picking on it. Um, his interior is just premium, premium entertainment. All right, so let's get on to the driving ground. <laughs> 